The rollout of the pediatric Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine begins today at two vaccination centers across the island. Last week, the UK government gifted Barbados over 14,000 doses of the vaccine, which is for children 5 to 11 years old. At the number two building on Harbour Road, St. Michael, one of the vaccination centers, Dr. Elizabeth Ferdinand, co-coordinator of the National Vaccination Program, said the turnout today was low. But she's optimistic that things will pick up soon, with a new school year beginning later this month. We've only got two sites doing vaccines today for children, and that's here at number two and also at the Glebe Polyclinic this afternoon. The turnout is, has been a bit slow, I think, and we're right now waiting for the children to get their actual vaccine. But um, a little disappointing, I would say but hopefully it will pick up as time goes on. Definitely, um, I think parents need to bring the children up before school so that by the time they get into school, they're fully, their immune system is up and running. It takes about 10 days, so the quicker you come up, the better. So the children will be, you know, ready, at least have had one dose and um, primed for the influx to school. She also advised parents on how to deal with the temporary side effects the vaccine may cause. Yes, there are a few side effects that I want the parents to take mindf be mindful of. As with any vaccine, you might get pain at the injection site, a little fever. So please, if anything, give the children a little paracetamol or Panadol. But nurse will tell you that when she's giving the vaccine, okay? There's also um, some type of, a few cases we've had some fainting after the vaccine, you know, I think it's sometimes because they're scared or so. So we have to be careful while they're here. That's why we have to observe them for 15 minutes after the vaccine so that we don't have any serious reaction or any fainting. Nine-year-old Jonathan Foster was the first child to receive the vaccine at the site. He was excited to receive his first shot and is encouraging others to do the same. You just got your vaccine. Yes. One of the first people in Barbados to get the vaccine. Yeah. At your age. Yeah. Tell me, how do you feel? I feel uh, quite awesome, actually. It did, I was expecting it to hurt a lot more, but not a lot, actually. I would it, it, when it, it did hurt a bit when it went in, but then when it went and she was just when she was doing it, when she was poking the vaccine, it didn't really feel like anything. It just felt like a little worm. <laughs> Why did you want to get the vaccine? Because I want to stay safe because taking the vaccine is very important us to, to build up your immune system against coronavirus. Meantime, Nicole Gibson made sure her two little ones, Jordan and Eden, were vaccinated. She said it was important for all her children to be vaccinated with school soon starting and government continuing to relax COVID-19 protocols. The reason that we are here today is because I wanted to ensure that I made as big an effort as possible in light of the fact that you're having a reduction in the restrictions and in light of the fact that the children are going to be going back into school and I suspect everything will, everybody will be going back in. So I just wanted to make sure that I as big an effort to making sure I was able to give my children some additional protection. 